how's it going everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we have a video request by the user CJGamerPH and he asks what if I made a video showing you how to get my set and you know what I'm going to do exactly that. Now just to warn you there's some items you can't get in the game anymore and there's some items you can only get on certain events like Halloween. And yeah, unfortunately, there are a lot of items that you won't be able to get. Um, well, technically, there's one item you can't get anymore, and there's two items that you're going to need to wait for Halloween to get. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Now, firstly, rules is the weapon that I use don't really belong to my set. I kind of use whatever weapon I feel I like to use. Sometimes I use my dark, where is it, my obsidian or dragon blade. Now, this is actually from a poster from Hero March. And you can't actually, well, I'm pretty sure you can probably get it if you buy the po poster now. But um, I wouldn't worry too much about the weapon that I use. You might want to use your own weapon because that's what I do. And um, I also use the GDC blade, which you might not be able to get anymore. This was a special code given out for people that attended the GDC uh, conference. But um, yeah, to be honest with the weapon, you should just use your own weapon. It, you know, it doesn't need to match the set. And um, yeah, I always change my weapons now and again, so it doesn't doesn't really matter. So um, yeah, now the first place we're gonna be going to is Mount Ashfall. Believe me or not, this is where you can get most of the set, and um, yeah, and the substitutes for these shoulders. I'll talk a bit more a bit more about that when we get there. So yeah, you wanna go to your map, you wanna go to travel, you wanna go to Ashfall, and then Mount Ashfall. If you can't get here, you may need to level up and do a bit of a, so, uh, the story in Ashfall actually get here but um yeah let's uh let's go over there so when we're here there's one person we want to talk to and she is over here now she will you you'll be able to get three pieces of my set and that's the shoulders the chest and the cape now one thing with the uh shoulders is you won't be able to actually get the same ones as i because mine are actually from a quest in green guard that's not there anymore this was in the early days of aq3d and in Green Guard, there was a quest and they would drop you these shoulders. These are called the Golden Shoulder Plates. If I preview, there we go, the Golden Shoulder Plates. These are level 5, and yeah, you could get these from Green Guard for doing a quest, believe it or not. It's really cool. But um, yeah, these are different. These are a more orange color than the gold. But um, you know, feel free to use the normal ones you can get from the shop here because, you know, I won't. <laughs> I won't blame you if you wasn't able to actually get these shoulders back in the day, but um, yeah, so let's go to her and we need to go to the Abon, uh, Abon Talon Vault. Now from here we're going to need two items, the chest, now this is the exact one I use in my set, there we go, and the shoulders, obviously these are the ones I don't use, but um, you know, you can use these ones if you don't have the other ones, it's completely fine, and to be honest, it looks kind of cool too. But um, yeah, those are the first two, the shoulders and the chest. So moving on, we need to get the cape. Now the cape can be bought from here, well technically not bought, you need to craft it. For that you need to go to Mount Ashfall Crafting and Fire Mage. Now from here we need to find the Fire Mage cape. Now you're going to need to kill some stuff and make some ingots for this. But it's not going to be too hard, uh, especially if you're max level now. Uh, it's going to cost you 5k gold. And remember the Talon armor, each piece costs 200k, so to, bet, to buy the chest and the shoulders it's going to cost you 400k gold to get those pieces, and an extra 5k gold for this. But um, yeah, this is the cape I use, it's pretty unique at the moment, I don't think there's many like this, this might be one in the dragon graveyard at the moment I think. But um, yeah, one thing I will say about this, it does clip a little bit with the shoulders, which I'm kind of not happy about, but hey, this is what you get. But to be honest, I really like this set, it looks really nice. The cape really looks really nice with my armor. And um, yeah, I like it because it covers my face. I don't want to see my face, nor do you. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. But um, yeah, that's all the pieces you can get from Ashfall. So that's three pieces. Now the next piece I'm going to show you is the belt. Now the belt is pretty cool, it's a gun. Now you can actually get this item pretty easily if you're at the right level. Uh, it does drop from a boss, so you're gonna need to grind him a little bit if he doesn't drop it. I wouldn't say it's rare, and I wouldn't say it's like super common either. Um, you might have to kill it one, one or twice, once or twice to actually get it. But um, yeah, the boss is in Darkovia. So we're gonna go to our travel map, we're gonna go to travel, we're gonna go to Darkovia. So now we're here, we actually need to travel up because technically it's not in this area. Unfortunately, they don't have like separate uh, 
teleports to different areas, we need to go to the outskirts, the forest area where the werewolves and vampires are fighting. So, um, we need to go, oh, hey Jake, I don't know who that is, I'll talk to him in a minute. Uh, we need to go over here, wait for this to load. So from here, we want to go to, well, we want to go past Little Dread, and we need to find a cave, which is over here. Uh, this cave is unlocked if you do the quest, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there it is. And we want to go here, load the map. Now, when you're here, you want to make sure you go left. This is where you fight uh, David, and he will drop his belt and some of the pieces too. So we want to go here. And we want to just enter a public dungeon if you want to do it with people. But I'm just going to enter private because I want to do it on my own. And yeah, you're going to need to clear all this on your own or with a party. And um, we need to get to the boss. Now, once you've cleared all the way up to the dungeon, we will be able to fight David. Now, he's down here. Now, he will have the chance to drop the uh, belt. Now, um, if you're max level or just near, he's not going to be too hard. You just want to kill him and then hopefully he'll drop the belt and again if he doesn't drop it you'll just have to try again because he's actually using the belt for himself at the moment but um yeah i like this because it's different and it's a gun so we're gonna loot what did we get oh my f button's not working f f here we go unfortunately we didn't actually get anything from him that's not good but um yeah again you just need to keep fighting him until he drops the belt so um yeah so that's basically it for the video. You're probably thinking, wait Jake, didn't show me how to get the hands or the boots. Now this is where the Halloween comes into. These hands and the boots are from the Halloween dungeon that drops off the mobs. They're pretty easy to get. They are grey items, so they're not really anything special. If I show you where this my gloves. You can see these are grey and these drop from the mobs inside the Halloween house. And they're pretty easy to get. But again, you do need to wait for Halloween, so that's why I can't really show you how to get it, because I literally can't go to the Halloween house. But um, yeah, feel free to use substitutes. Um, I'm pretty sure there's lots of like black and uh, black boots. I'm pretty sure there's, I think there's something like this somewhere else too, these gloves. But um, yeah guys, sorry I can't really show you how to get those two items, because it's not in the game at the moment, you need to wait for Halloween. But um, yeah, if you have all the items besides the boots and the gloves, you pretty much have what I look like. You just need to substitute the hands and the boots and you'll be good to go. But um, yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you're going to wear my set, you know, send me a screenshot on Twitter because uh, I love to see what you guys think of my set. And um, yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.